Howdy cats and canaries, it's time to put the pedal to the metal and other cliches as we take a look at GRID. Mm. Grid is the fourth game to carry that title in the Touring Car Association series from Codemasters and is looked on as a bit of a reboot. And since it's from a developer who pretty much only gives us driving games, you'd like to think it was on the money. Not content with giving us both Dirt Rally 2.0 and Formula 1 2019 this year, Codemasters also want to give us Grid, more of a rough and ready, fairly realistic look at stock car racing in which, as usual, you want to be top of the podium every time and take the glory. The main focus of the game is on its career mode, 104 events taking you to 12 cities and circuits with over 80 routes. Like most driving games of this type, the career mode is broken up into classes of vehicles, ranging from the slower everyday type cars in the touring section, through to the stock and the GT classes and even thrown in some Fernando Alonso branded Formula 1000. To progress, you need to complete 10 of the 13 events in a class before being able to enter that class's showdown, a boss level if you will. Once you complete four showdowns, you can enter the Grid World Series where you will pit yourself against the revered and feared Raven West Motorsport. As you move through the events, you earn XP which will level up your character and unlock cosmetic items such as paint jobs, character banners and panels, as well as new teammates to race with. You'll also earn coins, which you can use to buy new cars and pay for those unlocked teammates. The customizable looks for your car are impressive, and I'd imagine if you tinker, you'll never see a car like yours online. Speaking of online, multiplayer is included. You can jump into a quick match and have a race series against random opponents, or create a private match for up to 15 friends. There's also a mode where you can have a custom race, letting you choose the car you want to race, on the track you want to have, and then challenge your friends. The game feels like it lies somewhere between Formula 1 and Need for Speed. It's not quite pick up and play, but it certainly doesn't have the detailed refinement for hardcore racing fans. Saying that, there probably is enough to play with here, such as gear ratio, brakes and the likes to satisfy that itch. As is the case with most racing games, it's your cornering that will win your matches, and I thought it was hard. I found myself either being too speed cautious going into every corner, or skidding to the point of being too slow. I never quite got that sweet spot. And perhaps that's a challenge, but it was frustrating to go into a turn thinking it was great only to drift out and see another car undertake you. Progressing in the race for me was a case of muscling my way to the front, banging into whoever would save me from spinning out. And while this worked, it does kick in the nemesis feature of Grid, where one or more of the 400 AI drivers in the game will be gunning for you if you mistreat them. They might just give you a little nudge in a corner causing you to spin or block your path to overtake, but they're going to try to hinder your chances. Codemasters have done a great job of the level of choice in the game. For such a wash, rinse, repeat type game, no races felt too similar. With 104 events and 66 cars out the box, and a further 90 events and 12 cars coming for Ultimate Edition and Season Pass holders, there certainly isn't shortage for choice. Overall, Grid is a fun-ish driving game. I tend to find with these multi-vehicle class games there will be a sweet spot for everyone's style of driving. For me, it was the stock cars and, strangely, the Formula 1000. My god, keep me away from the GT. I would like to have felt more in control of the corners, and you can turn more assists on. I played it at the default medium setting, and I feel at that level I should be able to handle it all, but the cornering was perhaps just too tricky. I imagine more time in the cockpit would have gave me a better feel of it, 
but grabbing it and playing it for a bundle of hours hasn't done that job. I did have fun playing the game however, and while it was frustrating it didn't put me off, it only gave me a want to improve. What are your thoughts? Well, I guess some drivers have been having a better time than others. Though, with the Grid World Series, anything can happen. So, let's just wait and see. I would have liked to have seen more in the multiplayer. Perhaps a separate online career? Who knows what the future holds, but it just seemed a little tacked on. I only managed a couple of races with only three people, as this was a pre-release copy of the game. But it seemed fun, and as always, brutally hard. All in all then, Grid is a middle of the road racing game. Not awful by any means, but not really jumping out making me want to be Roy Orbison and drive all night. If you must have all the racing games in the world then you'll have a good bundle of hours with this and then move on. If not, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't miss this if it wasn't in your game collection. Had it come out 6 months ago when the well was a little dry then maybe perhaps, but with it coming up in holiday season and a good chunk of big games coming, it's perhaps better to save the pennies. Thanks for watching chaps, please do hit subscribe to keep up with all our YouTube activity and listen to the latest episode of the podcast on Spotify, iTunes and all your podcast players. For everything else, head to www.thenearlymen.com. Adios amigos!